It depends on the, on the nature of the performance. How about a sexually explicit one? Of course not. Okay, so we agree on that. And by the way, most liberals don't, just so we're clear, right? I, I, yeah, I know zero liberals that think that it's okay to expose children to sexually explicit stuff. Okay, so you would be partners with me in removing child pornography from elementary schools? Yes. Okay, so you're a big fan of Ron DeSantis then? No. Well, he did that and he was attacked by Disney and he was attacked by every major left-wing group as harsh, anti-gay, don't say gay. He was just saying you're not allowed to put propaganda or pornography in front of kids. I think you're actually more conservative than you are liberal, than you give yourself credit um, for. No, 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 hold your applause. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Keck ties Libra work academic in notes. Okay. Um, I call him Charlie Keck because of kicking us. This is going to be amazing to watch. Let's get right to today's video. Hello. So, I am a self described liberal. And I honestly did not think that I would be so nervous, but I am. And I wanted to kind of clear up some things. You had said earlier that it's easy, you would ask if it's easy to hold liberals, is it easy to hold your beliefs? And oh, it's easy because the rest of society agrees with you, yada, yada, yada. However, that's not why I find it easy. I was liberal before it was cool. Um, I find my beliefs easy to hold because I believe them in my soul. And I feel like a lot of conservatives are the same way. Your, your beliefs aren't subject to acceptance or disacceptance. Um, some, um, something else, and I mean, and honestly, if it were about what would be easy, it would be if I wanted to make my life more comfortable, I would change and become conservative. Um, because my husband has been caught up in and has changed his way of thinking to be a conservative person over the past couple of years. We'll and get it you has there. Caused absolute disarray. Um, so if it were something where I could just say, oh, well, you know, if you could get somebody to change sure. their values. Yeah, so let, let's try to make some progress. What do, you, um, what do you believe and why do you believe it? Well, I believe actually a lot of the same things you believe, just maybe in a more broad sense. Like, I believe in freedom. Okay. I believe in free speech. I believe in free speech for everybody. Um, I believe in freedom of expression. If you were born with a penis and you want to wear a dress, have at it. It's not my, it's not my life. And I don't get to dictate to anybody else what's right or wrong. Um, I don't believe that man is above nature because then is man unnatural? If man is separate from nature, is man unnatural? Man, man is made in the image of the creator. But I, I do want to I do want to mention zero in on one thing here, which is um, so you say it's you don't care what other people do. Just curiously, do you do you think it should be okay for adults to perform drag performances in front of children? It depends on the on the nature of the performance. How about a sexually explicit one? Of course not. Okay, so we agree on that. And by the way, most liberals don't. Just so we're clear. Right. I, I, yeah, I know zero liberals that think that it's okay to expose children to sexually explicit stuff. Okay, so you would be partners with me in removing child pornography from elementary schools? Yes. Okay, so you're a big fan of Ron DeSantis then? No. Well, he did that and he was attacked by Disney and he was attacked by every major left-wing group as harsh, anti-gay, don't say gay. He was just saying you're not allowed to put propaganda or pornography in front of kids. 
I think you're actually more conservative than you are liberal, than you give yourself credit um, for. No, 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 hold your applause. I am not, because where we differ is in how we define what is profane, what is pornography. How about oral sex to eight-year-olds? That's probably profane, right? Excuse me? Yeah, exactly. That's in, that's in textbooks across the country, including in this state, that liberals are defending as free speech. Okay. They're teaching eight-year-olds the most graphic sexual practices in public schools across the country. And I get smeared, slandered, and so does the American right as somehow being anti-LGBT because I don't think a nine-year-old should be exposed to things that should be behind in the darkest depths of the human existence, right? So I, I guess we agree on that. What I'm trying to get, get at, though, is why you believe what you believe. And we could spend all night doing this. Um, you say you believe in freedom and free speech, right? Okay. So which side do you think the American right or the American left currently is doing a better job of protecting the idea of freedom of speech? Uh, actually, they're both sucking pretty hardcore. They're both being absolutely horrible at it. How has the right been horrible at that? I'm um, curious. They're both being horrible in the exact same way, and it's who are they protecting or standing up for free speech for? Like, free speech for who? Can I ask a theoretical question? Mm -hmm. Do you think if a liberal came to speak at University of Kentucky, they'd give an open mic like I just did to a conservative and had a discussion like this? I certainly hope they would. No, they wouldn't, because speech is not a left-wing value. That's why Chuck mm -hmm. Schumer went on the Senate floor yesterday and called for the censorship of a cable television program. That is why they have to deploy shock troops called Antifa to go after everywhere I go. When I go to University of California Davis next week, there has to be okay. 120 police officers because of the threats, the violent threats of liberals that want me dead, that want to disrupt our events. Hmm. There are no right-wing hecklers that come to events like this. Michael Knowles, Matt Walsh, Ben Shapiro, myself, Candace Owens, the 24-7, 365 armed security to prevent ourselves from the violent threats from the left. And so I think it's rather clear there's one side that is trying to do everything they can to shut one side up and one side that's trying to open up the marketplace of ideas. And I think that's rather self-evident. But I do want to thank you for coming here tonight and okay, demonstrating. I totally disagree with everything you just said. I don't discount that you've received death threats or anything like that. So but how about this? Public approval polls show that a majority of liberals do not believe the First Amendment is absolute. What do you have to say about that? It's, I mean, it's not absolute. There are restrictions to the First Amendment. Such there, as? There literally are legal restrictions to it. Outside of incitement, what would one be? Okay, um, let's see. Let me think back think, to a high think, school civics class. Do you think class. hate speech should be disallowed? Um, fighting words is disallowed. Fight, not fighting words. It's, I mean, it's called that, though. Um, no, they're very much not disallowed, actually. They, they are disallowed if your speech is considered by a reasonable person to, and they harm you because of what you said. Wait, you mean hurt their feelings or physically no, harm them? No, I mean, okay. If you intentionally provoke a person with your speech that is not protected speech. Yes, it is. It actually... The, the, the American Civil Liberties Union protected Nazis to be able to march in Skokie, Illinois around Holocaust survivors. Grotesque, outrageous speech is absolutely protected by I'm the First Amendment. I'm not saying that grotesque... I'm saying that... I can't really explain it right now. But there, there is a limitation on that. Another limit is like you can't um, speech that, uh, like you can't yell fire in a well, crowded you actually, theater. You actually can, but that's a separate constitutional issue. That's incitement. That's a separate issue. But I th I'm, thank you for being here tonight. And I don't think we made any progress, but we certainly see where we disagree. The, the woman right there, she's nervous. And uh, while she was talking, she's kind of making me sleepy. <laughs> because there are some points she's... She's kind of confused. I'll, I'll use that word like that. Or she's not being clear with her words properly for me to understand. Um, she's bantly. She's bantly with her words. Uh, she's more 
conservatives than Libra. I'll, I'll use that word because what Charlie said is true. She kind of like supports a lot of what the right are doing than what the left are doing. She, her own point of view is that she believed that um, people should do whatever they want. If you feel like a man with a penis can dress up as a woman and go to the lady's bedroom and he can identify as a woman and you're are, and you're and you happy, you don't care because he, he's not you, makes absolutely no sense. It's 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 stupid. That is where I disagree with a lot of these laborers. They see some things that are wrong and they feel like I'm not the one doing it, so I don't care. No, if everyone chooses to be acting that way, America will not be how America is right now. That I don't care attitude, I'm not the one dressed like that, I'm not the one acting like that. I don't care, I'm living my... We will, it's, 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 it's a bad mentality that is. If you know what, if you see what is wrong, you don't have to be the one doing it. You have to shun at it. You have to correct it. You have to say this, what you are doing is wrong. That's why I stick with the conservative because they know what is right and they know what is wrong. And when they say what is wrong, they shun at it. You go against what is wrong and you stick with what is right. It's, it's as simple as that. That is why I, I just love the conservatives. Like, they know, they, they know this itself is terrible. A man being dressed as a woman, going to the ladies' bathroom and seeing other ladies change, it's wrong. It's morally, morally wrong. It's, it's, it's terrible. Because a lot of girls has been ripped through that process. There are some certain things that liberals are seeing and they feel like they should, should go under the book. Whereas it comes back to haunt them. It comes back every single time. If you do not accept what Charlie is saying and you feel like um, the, the, the right wings, there are some words they should not use to hurt people's feelings. That is where this LGBTQ community comes in. And liberals. Um, there are some words you should not use to hurt their feelings. I don't care about your feelings. If we are all working by feelings, America will not be how America is right now. But I love how Charlie put us straight. Like, you know, Charlie was just giving it to her, like, straight fat. He's not hiding anything for her. He, he, also did, he talked about the um, child pornography aspect. He talks about the oral sex. He talks about um, men dressing as a woman. He talks about everything, about what the liberal are seeing and are keeping quiet. We should not keep quiet. We should see the truth and say it as it is. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. Bye. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't know papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, you in my bed. I got scales all over.